All right, so let's talk about these types of problems for problem number one, particle equilibrium problems, things to look out for, things to be ready for. So first of all, it could be 3D, it could be 2D. Uh, so for these 3D, you gotta be able to handle spherical coordinates, you gotta be able to handle um, quarter direction angles, you gotta be able to handle dimensions. So go back and look through all those and make sure you can break them into their components. Like this one, you see what I did? Like I didn't know the magnitude of TAC, but, but I broke, him, broke it up into its components as, as best I could. You know, I didn't know the magnitude of TAD, but I broke it up into its components as best I, I could. So sometimes, sometimes you're, you're given, you know, the force in some of these and you break them into their components. But sometimes you don't know the force, you don't know the magnitude, and you have to break them into their components. So, you know, you, 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 you just leave that magnitude in here as, let's call it TAD or something like that. Um, don't forget the easier, you know, the easier components that, that aren't in, that are only in one direction. Don't, don't forget those and, and, you know, put those in the correct equation. And then you'll, it's just, then it's just math, you know, back to high school, solving simultaneous equations. I like to use substitution. You see right here, I, I wrote one in terms of the other and I saw, I substituted for that one. So then I only had one unknown right here that I could solve. Then I went back to solve, went back to, to plug those in. Uh, if your answer comes out negative, it means you chose the wrong direction. But now tensions in cables, these couldn't have come out negative, right? Because ten, tension can only pull. You know, ropes cannot push. Um, so if your answer is coming out negative, it means you drew it the wrong direction. But many times, and sometimes the answers should not come out negative. If something comes out negative, then either you did it wrong or the the situation is impossible. It will never, you know, be in equilibrium at those d directions and dimensions. Um, but chances are you, you probably just made some mistakes so with ropes and things like that. There, there are some things where answers could come out negative. It just means you chose the wrong direction. Um, all right, so I think that's a good overview. Uh, I, I would just caution you to look at these problems where it says, okay, what's the maximum weight such that none of the cables exceed, you know, 300 newtons? Um, it, you, you don't set all of the cables to 300 newtons. Only one of the cables gets to 300 newtons. And so um, for 3D, I, I want you to guess. I kind of let, let you guess which cable you think will be the largest um, and then uh, you do your work and see if you chose correctly. For 2D problems, I like you to write all the tensions in terms of the weight, and then, um, then you can see which one is the largest and then set the largest to the maximum value. But, but for those problems, remember, don't set all of the tensions to 300. Only one of them reaches its um, you know, limiting factor if it was a problem like this. And then lastly, the... the 2D problems, I may ask for and grade your free body diagram. Uh, but for 3D problems, I, I will not ask you for a free body diagram. And I will not grade your free body diagram. All right. I think that's a good overview. Go back and look at problems we've done previously uh, to, to prepare for the test for this and problem number one.